Okay, here we've got Ike's February 2015 um, fast eval. Here we'll see Ike running full speed, and then we'll see him running at 50% or half speed, and then we're gonna see him again here at 10% speed so we can really take a look frame by frame. And uh, we're gonna pretty much stop him almost right away and take a look at some things upon his takeoff. So you'll notice here, he's got way too much bend in the waist. Now you wanna have a good lean angle, but this isn't necessarily a lean. Uh, from driving out, this is more of a bend at the waist. Um, so that's definitely something we, we want to fix right away because that's a very slow move. The next thing we want to look at is his arms. You'll see how his arms are getting disconnected. Uh, his arm is fully extended out uh, and then the left arm is coming across the chest. So we want to get everything to be north and south. I'm okay with him unhinging his arm on, on the launch but not, not the left arm coming across the body. Um, pushing him forward a little bit more. We're going to stop him right here. And again, we're gonna look at these arms. Now, I'm okay with it on the first first stroke uh, being unhinged, but as it as he continues to run, he needs to run and keep the arms in an L shape, driving the hands up to the eye, not over in front of his chest. And you'll see here how he doesn't really drive his arm back very much. He kind of leaves it low and hanging down. Um, there's no power in that, and we want to create as much power with the upper body and, and the same with the lower body as we can to help propel him forward and to give him that explosive movement. I'm gonna move him forward a little bit more and we're gonna stop him close to about eight or nine yards out. And you'll see here, now again, with his bend at his waist, he, he has a low knee drive. So he's not a very tall kid to begin with. So we really wanna maximize his stride and get as much out of each step as we can. So we need him to bring his knee up a little bit higher, almost waist high, almost horizontal. And then we gotta get him to be more upright with his chest because he's kind of pushing his, um, his knees down. So when the chest comes over the knees, the butt pokes out. When the hips get poked out, then that causes, the, it's very difficult to pick the knee up efficiently. So we definitely want to um, fix that. Next thing is here, you'll see how he's striking on the heels of his feet. We gotta get him to strike on the ball of the, feet, the foot and then be able to strike back. So definitely wanna, that's a big no-no right there is him doing that. And then he's a little bit out of alignment because he actually has too much sway in his body. You can see how his chest is opened up and his arm, his shoulders kind of back. Those shoulders should be square to us. The left and right shoulders should be at the same distance, um, not, not one behind the other. Uh, running is a compound motion, so any mistakes that are made are compounded up step by step by step. Um, so that's why we need to fix these things because they definitely will help him out. On short runs, especially even long, longer runs, as, as the, the, the poor movement will really make a difference. Now here you'll see some world-class athletes. I've included some clips here. And we'll notice how his toes and knees are all in alignment, hips are in alignment. You'll notice here, this is Usain Bolt, how his arm is driving back in an L shape and they're connected to the body going up to the eye. You can see how his knee drive is just almost perfectly horizontal. And then striking on the balls of his feet and really driving that, that, that ground back behind him and has a great kick. So these are kind of some simple elements that we can try to mimic and follow uh, for Ike that will help him out. Now we're gonna take a look at his vertical leap. Ike scored a 13, 13 inches on his vertical. Um, the vertical and the standing broad jump speak directly to the 10 yard time. So if we want him to be explosive, then we're gonna have to have him be explosive on these two drills here. So these are two things that we really wanna look at and watch and try to really get to be as high as they possibly can so that we can get that 10 yard time and that 20 yard time down. Here, I scores a three foot nine inch jump. We'll see here, he actually loads the body pretty good, uses his arms and explodes out. We just gotta generate more power and give him some more explosiveness in those legs and arms. Good jump there. Um, the next thing we're gonna look at is uh, Ike's lateral speed. He was able to score 12 reps. Uh, one of the thing is we gotta get him to obviously let go of his hands, but he's opening his hips. Um, for the most part, he's doing okay, but he is crossing his feet over and that's something that we don't wanna do. We definitely don't wanna cross our feet over. Uh, we're going to take a look at the performance stats for Ike. And this is like a baseline score for him. He had some good strength numbers, so so push-ups, sit-ups, you know, really good with that. One leg was good was good with the strength, but just had some balance issues. So we want to do some balance work with him. Uh, definitely need to work on that lateral speed. And then the standing bar jump and the vertical, obviously get those high as we can. 10-yard time, we'd love to see that be low, low twos. And we'd love to see that 20-yard time be in the mid threes. So those are some things that we, we can really work on. Uh, another thing we really want to key on is his flexibility. He needs to be uh, on a stretching program at home.